What up Instagram and YouTube, it's your boy Salty Redcorn and I am back with another ill-prepared knife review video. And after watching Metal Complex's video on the Titanium Warlock yesterday, it sparked my, re-sparked my interest in the Paragon Knives Phoenix that I have. And I thought I'd revisit it here for you guys. This is the Paragon Knives Phoenix. Alright. Awesome, fun fidget tool. Very cool to play with. And pretty useful as well. All right, I got this knife about a year ago. I was really interested in the Warlock, and um, I saw that they had other models. And the Phoenix, I really, really love the blade shape, and I love the overall shape of the knife. It's very fluid, and I really like it. Plus, my second boy's middle name is Phoenix, so it was just kind of something that resonated with me. And, you know, I got it for that reason, and it turned out to be one of my favorite knives, although... I'll say the novelty's worn off, but I still love it. It's a great conversation piece, and it's, it's fun to carry from time to time. I've definitely hard used this knife. I put it through some paces early on, and it performs really, really well. It's definitely a super strong lock mechanism, which we'll talk about now, all right? This is a unique lock, and it is totally patented by Asheville Steel. And the way it works is it's a gravity knife, right? But it's different than a lot of gravity knives being as the blade, the handle scales open up like a clamshell. The blade then falls inside and closes back in there. And so there's no blade edge showing here at all whatsoever. And if you hand this to somebody who doesn't know about this knife, they're going to push this button. They're going to flip it over. They're going to push it this way. There's no way they're really going to figure this thing out unless you show them. All right. Beautiful machine milling done on the handle scales. This is the Phoenix emblem. Uh, we have some really cool milling, decorative milling in the back here that all kind of follows the same direction. It goes in suit together and just looks very, very cool. This is definitely a useful piece right here. This milling is very very nice and very grippy and it makes for a really good grip on the knife and I could really appreciate that. So let's talk a little bit about the blade. It's a Cerakoted S30V um, I guess draw point blade with a swedge on the top. It's also compound ground. They make these in different styles and this is a compound ground version. We have a hollow grind here and back up to a flat grind here. All right. This knife was resharpened by Keeping New Jersey Sharp, Cerebral Ballsy, Mikey, he resharpened this and put a really nice edge on it, something that's really useful for me. Um, and like I said, I've definitely put this knife through its paces early on and it performs really, really well. Really nice engraving here on the blade as well. It's not just laser etched, it's actually, you know, engraved or stamped into the blade. And that says Paragon USA S30V Asheville Steel with their logo, their Phoenix logo on it very very awesome the knurling here on the deployment buttons are very very nice and it's an overall it's just a really cool looking knife and it makes really cool sounds and it's fun to play with and once you get the hang of it it's very very fun very fidgety I love it so there's a little bit of play back here on the scales and that's just inherent with the design Right? That all goes away as soon as you grip the knife. The harder you grip this knife, the more solid the blade lockup is and the more solid the handle feels. Just a very, very neat piece. And this little bit of play, it's just part of the design. It's nature of the beast. All right? The pocket clip is not super good. It leaves a lot of the knife sticking out. But the way the handle is designed, I can see uh, how hard it would be to actually put a deep carry on here. I'm sure it could be done, and I'm sure that they may upgrade it in the future if they keep going with the Phoenix model, which I really hope they do. They've upgraded this to, they've upgraded the Warlock version of this to titanium and S35VN, which is very neat, right? I think I prefer S30V to S35VN, and I don't necessarily think that I would buy a titanium version of this knife. I think that the aluminum handle scales do this knife justice. I think it's pretty good, especially if you're going to buy it as a user. If you're going to buy it as a collector piece, titanium is definitely the way to go. 
but as a user I think the aluminum does just fine all right so really cool overall knife this knife came around at $260 at the time I bought it I think sometimes if you hit up Rob directly on Instagram you may be able to get a better price on it but I think it's well worth $260 with the complexity that it has the blade steel it offers and the fact that it's made in the United States it's made right here in North Carolina um, up in Asheville at Asheville Steel awesome absolutely love it they make all different variations they have one called the, the dreadlock that's a tanto version they have the Phoenix and they have the warlock and the, the warlock comes in a ton of different grinds they have a really cool sorcerer grind just a ton of different stuff serrations no serrations compound grind non compound grind however you want it all different Cerakote colors very very cool and the company is very cool too they're a family oriented company and uh, Rob's definitely a cool dude and I'm very proud to own this knife so that's it enough with that let's do a quick EDC check on me I am again wearing the Dan Henry chrono panda style I don't know probably wrong you watch guys can flame me right stag head designs wedding band I am carrying for my pocket knife today the DLT trading m390 pair of three with custom skinny scales that I made myself and a lynch clip I love the skinny stale scales it turns the pair of three into something that's useful for me in stock form it just doesn't vibrate with my hands the same way the PM2 it, the PM2 is perfect the pair of three doesn't vibrate with me with the uh, the hump in the middle but when I skinny the scales I almost prefer this over the pair of two so you guys can keep that in mind if you ever need any advice or help making your own scales let me know if you like this kind of video smash the like button tell your boy salty red corn what you want to see I love